Hello and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe and today we have quite a bit to discuss, including Patrick Mahomes revealing that he is the true matchmaker of Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Billie Eilish potentially shading Taylor Swift, Travis and Jason Kelsey taking their podcast overseas, which just so happens to be at the same time that Taylor Swift is overseas. Lots to discuss, but before we get into it, I mentioned it earlier this week, but we have launched a brand new channel, a fast break, which is a sports channel mixed with a lot of pop culture flair. Our first official episode dropped this week. I will link it here. I'll try to link it in the description as well, but it would mean so much to us if you subscribe to the channel, watch the video, if you love sports, if you know somebody in your life who loves sports, it would mean a lot to us if you watched, subscribed, did all the things. We'd be very grateful for that. Okay, let's jump into the show officially, starting out with Patrick Mahomes revealing, kind of for the first time, that he was the one who invited Travis Kelsey to that very first Eras Tour concert in Kansas City. We knew Patrick was there. We we knew he and Brittany attended alongside Travis. But we didn't actually know why or who invited who or if they both chose to go separately. But now we know Patrick invited Travis. So Patrick was on the Pat McAfee show this week and they brought up Taylor and Travis and Patrick revealed that he wants a little bit of credit for bringing these two powerhouses together. He said, I like to take some credit or I like to take some of the of, of the credit. I was the one who invited Travis to the first Taylor concert with a friendship bracelet. He was sitting in my suite. And then he goes on to say, I had some input in there as well about Taylor or about Travis wanting to shoot his shot with Taylor. Um, and Patrick said, dude, just go for it. Just go for it. So here's the deal, guys. Like not only Travis Kelsey is an amazing tight end. Fantastic may go down as the greatest of all time, if not one of the greatest of all time. But the truth of the matter is he hadn't won a Super Bowl until Patrick Mahomes started playing for the Chiefs. Now he's won three Super Bowls, in large part thanks to his partnership with the greatest quarterback of all time. I'm going to say it, Patrick Mahomes. And now it sounds like he also has his personal life to thank Patrick for. Um, because had Patrick not invited Travis to the concert, would Travis have gone on his own? Would this have ever happened? I think not. So Swifties, I think we have to fully bow down to Patrick Mahomes and thank him for dragging his buddy, his teammate along to this concert, because I don't think we would be where we are right now if he hadn't invited him to the concert. So thank you, Patrick Mahomes. We owe you everything. Um, Okay, moving on to the next story, which is a little, I don't know, shade being thrown around, potential drama starting, we'll get into it. So a lot of fans online are talking about Billie Eilish's comments regarding artists that do three hour concerts, okay? So Billie said recently that three hour concerts are quote, literally psychotic. She then went on to say, nobody wants that. You guys don't want that. I don't want that. I don't even want that as a fan. Even my favorite artists, I'm not trying to hear them for three hours. That's far too long. Okay, now obviously a lot of people are taking this as a direct shot against Taylor Swift because Taylor Swift very famously is on a tour where every show is three plus hours long. And so I think a lot of people feel like this is Billy taking a direct shot at Taylor Swift. Now let's just, before we go crazy, and start attacking Billy, which we shouldn't ever do, I think we need to remember and remind ourselves that Taylor Swift is not the only woman or only artist in history to have three hour concerts. In fact, Bruce Springsteen, one of the most famous iconic musicians, artists to ever exist, is famously known for having three plus hour concerts and has been doing it for decades. In fact, he has concerts that get close to, if not right at four hours, okay? So if Billy is taking down Taylor Swift, then she's also taking down Bruce Springsteen. So just keep that in your mind, as well as other artists. I mean, Beyonce has gotten very close to performing th- three hours, if if not performing for three hours. There's a lot of artists that perform for three hours. I, I, sh- I shouldn't say a lot, but there are there are artists who do it and they're some of the most iconic, successful artists of all time. I will also say in Billy's defense, 
Billie Eilish doesn't have the music and like the energy in her music that would warrant a three hour concert. In order to perform for three hours, you need to have the music catalog of a Taylor Swift, of a Beyonce, of a Bruce Springsteen, where you have these really high energy moments, you drop down, you can create a really interesting show because your music is so different in terms of, again, energy level. Um, is it a dancey song? Is it a more slowed down song? Billy doesn't have a lot of music that is like super high energy. In fact, she doesn't really have any music that's super, super high, super high, high energy. And so because of that, she wouldn't be able to do three hours because it just wouldn't work. For the kind of artist that she is, I just don't think it would it would work. So I think that's kind of what Billy is saying. Like, I I don't have that kind of show in me, whereas maybe other artists do have that show in them. I also think Billie Eilish is entitled to her own opinion. She's entitled to say, I don't want to play three hours. You know, that's totally fine. Taylor Swift is also entitled to say, I want to give my fans an amazing three hour show. Um, as a Taylor Swift fan, I love that the show is three hours. I think it's incredible. I think she could play for four hours if she wanted to, because she has so many songs and so much to perform, so much catalog to perform. Billy obviously doesn't have as much to perform. So it's not, I don't know. I can understand why people think she's throwing shade towards Taylor. And maybe she is, like maybe she is. Um, but I also think everyone's entitled to think what they want to think. And as I said, if Billy is throwing shade at Taylor Swift, then she's also throwing shade at Bruce Springsteen and other artists who do three plus hour concerts. And so I feel like Taylor, is in pretty good company in terms of the artists that choose to perform for over three hours. So I don't know, let me know in, in the comments what you guys think. Do you think it was shade? Do you feel like it's overblown? Let me know your thoughts because to me, I'm just kind of like, whatever. Um, okay, moving on to the next piece of news, which is that Travis and Jason are taking their podcast, New Heights, overseas. So it was announced this week that the Kelsey brothers will be part of Sports Beach 2024, which is a sports business event taking place in Cannes, Cannes, France. So the Cannes Lion um, International Festival of Creativity, June 17th through June 20th. They'll be doing a live podcast at this event. Um, and obviously it's a big deal to take their podcast overseas. Cannes, I mean, beautiful location. But it also makes sense because as we've said, as we talked about, Taylor is going to be in Europe the entire summer. And so it makes sense for Jason and, and Travis to pack up their show, go go overseas. And it, it's so it kind of perfectly works out because the festival ends on June 20th and then Taylor plays in London starting on Friday, June 21st. So I think it, we can safely say, well, I don't know about safely, but I'm going to predict that Jason... Travis, maybe Jason's daughters, Kylie, will be in London for those Eras Tour shows that weekend, or at least a couple of them, um, because it just works out so perfectly. So very, very smart on Jason and Travis's behalf. And honestly, this podcast is just blowing up. Like it is truly amazing how successful it's become. And it's cool that they're getting to do these really awesome things and travel and live their best life. So very excited for them. Can't wait to see how that all unfolds and plays out over the next few months. So that's kind of that for this episode. I would love again to know everyone's thoughts on all the topics discussed. As always, as I mentioned before, please subscribe to our new sports channel, A Fast Break, if you haven't done so already. And if you like sports, if you haven't subscribed to A Swift Look, what are you waiting for? Please do that as well. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.